الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام الأتمان الأكملان على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين نبينا محمد بن عبد الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه سلم تسليما كثيرا Brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah. In order to develop a pure heart for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to follow the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of his commandments is the concept of the hijab for the Muslim woman. But hijab, one of the major misconceptions, many people think is only for the Muslim woman. No, it is even for the Muslim woman. For the, for the Muslim man. Allah says in the Quran, Tell the believing men that they should lower their gaze. This is our hijab. If you see a sister passes in front of you, you can look, one gaze is allowed, but do not scan the sister. Do not look at the sister with a lustful eye. If you're doing this, you are going against the boundaries of the hijab of a man. But for the, for the Muslim woman, it goes to the extent of your dress code. And Islam has taught the Muslim woman that a Muslim woman, everything about a woman is aura. It should be concealed, except the face and the hands up to the wrist. This is the hijab in terms of dress code. This is what Islam has, Islam has taught you, or this is how Islam has taught you to dress. You wear a very loose dress. It should not be tight. It should not be transparent. It should not be scented with a perfume. And when you also wear the hijab, you should stay away from designs of living creatures. This is haram for a man, it's haram for a woman. Aside that, the correct hijab and the full hijab is the hijab of the eyes. Do not look at anything haram. Tell the believing women that they should lower their gaze. Allah said this verse for men and also for women. The hijab of the eyes. Do not look at anything haram. Hijab of the ears. Do not sit down anywhere listening to haram in terms of music or sitting down anywhere where someone is being backbitten. You should also observe the hijab with your hands. Do not shake hand with the opposite gender. This is also part of your hijab. You can say, well, I, I observe the hijab, but I shake hand with men. You do not understand the concept of hijab. And many people tend to justify this fact by saying that I will feel shy or I don't want to embarrass him. My beloved sister, to please Allah and to displease a, a creation of Allah subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala, which of these two will you prefer for yourself? I leave that answer to you. And the answer, in fact, is you would want to please Allah most definitely and not to think about who is displeased by observing the principles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also, brothers and sisters, many people tend to give the excuse that I don't wear the hijab. Why? Because the sisters I know who wear the hijab, they backbite, they fornicate, they listen to music, they go to concerts, they go for clubbing, they go for X, they go for Y. That is why I don't wear hijab. My beloved sister, this will never be an excuse before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. That is number one. Number two, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive them and forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rectify their affairs and make them to observe the hijab as it should be observed according to the Quran and the Sunnah. Thirdly, why not you wear the hijab and don't be like them? Why not you wear the hijab and be the difference? Wear the hijab, don't lie. Wear the hijab, don't backbite. Wear the hijab, don't fornicate. Wear the hijab, don't listen to music. Wear the hijab, respect your parents. Wear the hijab, have a sense of comportment when you walk, especially in front of men. My dear sister, not wearing the hijab because of the mistakes of other hijabi sisters, this will never be an excuse because Allah has never asked you to follow the hijabi sisters. Allah asks you to follow the Quran and the Sunnah. And he told the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, Ya ayu an nabiyyu, kulli azwajika wa banatika wa nisail mu'mineen, yudina alayhinna min jalabi bihinna, dhalika adna ay yu'afna fala yu'udayn. He told the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, tell your wives why, and your daughters why, because charity begins at home. And the believing women, every woman who calls himself a Muslim, you, you claimed la ilaha illallah Muhammad rasulullah, you are inside fi silki alladina amanu, you are inside the community of the believers. So not wearing the hijab, my beloved sister, the Prophet says, there are women, nisa'un kasiyatun ariyatun ma'ilatun mumilat, who are dressed, but they are naked. They are misguided, and they also misguide others. Any man who looks at you outside without your improper dress code, you have a sin for, for, for making it easy for the man to see haram, and you also have a sin in you going outside with that improper clothes, but you have a sin in the sin of that man who you've made it possible for him to see something that he should not see from your body. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us this pure heart by following the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hijab and Islam is not pick and choose. 
Allah told you in the Quran, Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu, O you who believe, udukhulu fi silmi kaffah. Enter into Islam wholeheartedly, not one foot in, one foot out. Or you go to a supermarket, you pick and choose what to buy and what not to buy. Islam is not that. You enter into Islam in totality, total submission. Islam comes with the prayer, comes with the hijab, comes with the charity, comes with all the forms of goodness. Also, it comes with the hijab. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to purify our heart, grant us a pure heart, and make us to respect His commandments and the teachings of the Prophet alayhi salatu wassalam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.